I'm from a town where the young never shut our eyes. Pick your poison, you could ride with those other guys. Life is more than just a dream when your team's strong. We write anthems, this is more than just a theme song. Rap bees on our winter wears. Welcome to b I'm the home of the phenoms. It's only one city that we lean on. We call that. Hello guys, what's going on? Etika from the Etika World Network Gaming Commentary here to bring you another edition of our Minecraft playthrough. Now, I have the AC on because it is way too damn hot in New York City at this point, and if it gets too hot and it gets too stuffy, it gets really hard for me to breathe. So we're going to keep the AC on for a little while. I got my little bottle of water. So this way, everything will be cool. I don't overheat and we can continue playing. So let's get into the segment right now. Oh, just woke up. <sighs> feeling really great. So um, we might as well play some Minecraft since we're feeling so good. So let's get started into the world. If I remember correctly, it was snowing. So, you know, really nice ambiance here. Is that a huge creeper at the top of that? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. How is this even? Wait a minute. There's a... Wait, is the focus good here? Let's make sure. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now, if I'm looking correctly, there's a creeper on top of this thing. <laughs> You're in kind of a bad position, buddy. Let's see if we can fuck with him. Uh, let's see. Okay. Boom. Oh. Oh, he is definitely fucked. But okay. So, if I remember correctly, the main goal here was to um, put water at the bottom of this ladder. So this way, uh, we don't have to worry about... Basically, I want to put water at the bottom, so, whoa, scary looking, man, but okay, let's see, <laughs> ah, okay, but I really wanted to put water at the bottom of this thing, so we're going to have to um, take the iron that we mined and um, dig a hole and put water down there. It's kind of funny because um, I shouldn't have dropped down the hole that first time I went, but I guess I just wanted to reconfigure myself with what's been going on. Is the light too bright? I think this is okay. Yeah, that should be okay. Oh, wow. You see the snow changing blocks every time you walk. But okay. So, um, right now, I remember somebody in the last episode told me that um, if I have these torches, like... Wait, can I put this on top? Oh, I can't put it on top? Come on. All right. Um, I remember somebody told me if I put the torches on the ground, the snow is not going to pile on them. So, I have to make sure I somehow find a way beyond that. I bet I could, but I'm just not creative enough to think of a way. Whatever the case may be. I think I somewhat have a way. Yeah, let me see. Instead of putting them on the ground, I'll just put, like, these here. They'll be cool for, like, style, I guess. You know? Ambiance. Okay. I'll put you here. Put this up here. It looks cooler that way, you know? Okay. So, while the snow collects up here... Wait, let me do that for these two. All right. And we're going to put this down here. I'm feeling good about the plans, though, because this basically... Wait, this one might be a little bit more tricky. But then again, we don't really need two here. Yeah, this should be okay. If anything, maybe I'll just put another one, like, here or something. Okay, then. So I think this is good. I think this is good. You know, we don't really need too many. Now, let us put that iron in the stove, so this way we can... I have a lot of freaking cobblestone, man. Like, this is the most abundant item in Minecraft. Okay, so let me put some of this cobblestone away. Okay. Like, when it's actually snowing, it's a little bit hard to see stuff. But when the snow settles and then, like, the floor gets white, that's actually kind of cool. It's a good idea to keep water at the side. Anyways, now, um, I know we need a shovel. We definitely are going to need a shovel, so... We'll probably make one with the iron, but then again, is that really worth it? Let's just make one with the... Fuck it, let's make it with the iron. But, wait, I don't have any wood. Wait, yes I do. <laughs> okay, alright, I need to calm down. But, okay, let's split this, split this, 
and um, make some sticks. There we go. Now we are going to make an iron shovel. Yes, yes. And now we are in somewhat of a good position. Let me move these here because I want these to be on reserve. I'll keep a bench with me just in case. And um, I definitely should make a sword as well. That's definitely needed. Uh, let me see. I'll put this up here for my pickaxe. Here. By the way, can somebody tell me a command to um, organize items automatically? I know somebody said something before, but I totally forgot. Totally. Like, there's no hope in even me trying to remember what the hell it was. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah, okay, so um, I'm looking, and uh, pretty much we're good. All we gotta do is wait for this iron to finish cooking. Okay, we can take this now. For, and um, let's make another iron pickaxe just to have them on reserve. Let's make two. Okay. Booyah, and booyah. There we go. So we don't really need these anymore. Oh, come on. All right, um, let's get rid of these. Goodbye, stone pickaxes. We are leveled up now. <laughs> Hell, no, since I'm at it, I might as well make another fucking iron shovel. Okay, moving this out the way here. I want to have all my tools like to in a column, so at least I know. Just click down and get my reserve. So that's the way I'm looking at this. Um, Okay, let's see. Let's make one more shovel. And there we go. Now let's make a bucket. And there we go. Oh yeah. All right, we are set. You know what? I think we're going to need some more torches as well because somebody mentioned that torches are somewhat of a valuable item when you're looking through a dungeon because you know what? That little dungeon that we found in the last episode, we are going to look into that. I do want to see what that's all about. So you know what, that's going to be where we begin our dungeon exploration thing. Let me just get my Oreo cookies. I love my Oreos, man. I, you know, this is the first time I'm ever like eating during the Minecraft segment, but hell, I might as well be comfortable. Might as well enjoy myself. Why should I be uncomfortable, you know? Okay. So now, do I really need my ladders with me? Just in case you never know. Okay, and uh, let me see. Let me make some more torches. That'll be a good use for the sticks that we have remaining. You know, I don't think we'll need... I don't think you can have too many torches when you're looking through dungeons like the way we're going to be. And um, gunpowder we don't really need. So let me just put that in the chest. Um, the wood we would need later on. The ink sac, not really necessary at all. And the ladders, I'll just keep them on reserve. So, you know, just so I can make sure that, you know, if anything does happen where we do need to climb back up something, we do have the ladders to use. And I'll make things a lot easier doing so. So, all right then. And um, the cobblestone, we don't need extra cobblestone. We're going to find a bunch down there, most likely. The crafting table, I do want to keep with me, but it's not needed to be in the slot. And, um, yeah, I want to have the bucket handy as well with the torches. Maybe we should make some more torches, man. Like, let's, let's see if we can make some more torches, because I think that's going to be rather important. I want Somebody mentioned in the other video that I should have, like, a stack of 64 at least. So that's kind of, uh, it's kind of a lot, but whatever. I'll make it work. I mean, we need them, so I won't spare that expense. But probably when we get more resources, then I'll be able to do that thing a little bit more freely. And we have no more torches. I mean, no more um, coal that's in the treasure chest, so we have to be somewhat lenient with our supply here but we don't really need any more buckets so I'll just put this iron back in here actually let's make a should we need another iron pickaxe let's make another iron pickaxe just to be 100% protected you know don't go without protection kitties not safe to do at all okay so um, even though we used up most of our iron reserves they went for good causes because at this point now we are pretty much ready to explore that dungeon. So, actually, you know what? Hell, why not? We might as well use this and make one more iron shovel. Why the hell not? Just to be able to have it. Boom. Okay, we are good. Put the wood items up here. We are not really going to need axes for a dungeon like that. I did not 
make an iron sword. I am a dumbass. The whole time I'm saying, I'm thinking I'm covering everything. Oh, I've made every single tool I need. I didn't need anything else. I didn't make an iron sword. Wow. Really, Desmond? That was just really stupid. All right, so even though I guess I could make a stone sword, but that's not really going to be as effective. I didn't make iron. I didn't make armor either. Wow, really? I totally forgot about protecting myself. <laughs> It's great I have the tools, but I have no protection. I'm going to get fucking massacred down there. I got the snowballs, at least. Maybe I can, like, throw them at monsters and, you know, we have snowball fights and they'll be then, like, tempted not to kill me because then they'll be having so much fun that they wouldn't want to kill me. I highly doubt that's going to happen. All right, then. So, um, I get... Wait, we're supposed to make more torches. I'm really bad at these things. I need, like, a list. Okay. Let's just add this to our torch pile here. And boom, I think we're good. We don't really need <laughs> I keep throwing it. Alright, um I don't think we really need much of else much of anything else here. Besides protection, but you know, I guess we'll worry about that when it gets here. Alright then, so um now we have the bucket, so we'll be able to put the water down there. So uh Wow, I think we're ready, yo. I think we're ready. Let's do this. We've been delaying long enough. It is time to actually get to the meat and potatoes of this whole ordeal and begin to um, explore a little bit. We may just need more food, though. Yeah, we're going to need more food. So you know what? The main thing that we're looking for when we go down this ladder is um, we're looking for iron and food. So let's do it. But how am I going to get the food when I can't kill it? Oh, well, whatever. I'll, I'll figure something out. I'll beat it with a pork chop. Actually, you know what? I think the iron is a little bit more important to get than just the food. So you know what? Yeah, let's get iron. Because at least with the iron, then we can make the swords to be able to get the food that we need. Um, anyway, so um, we are going to continue this in the next episode, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I'll talk to you later. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, have a good one. <laughs> What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network Gaming Commentary here to bring you another edition of our Minecraft playthrough. Wait a minute, let me turn this light up because I need to... Yeah, there we go. Okay. So in our last episode, we basically were going to explore a dungeon. I had forgotten to make armor and tools to protect myself from the monsters in there, so I'm kind of screwed. But either way, let's get into the episode right now. And so, at this point... Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> at this point... We are going to um, look for a little bit of iron. The reason why we're looking for a little bit of iron is so this way we can make a sword and then go out, kill some more monsters to get some more food. Because something tells me seven pork chops aren't going to cut it. So we're just looking for more iron here. Coal we might just need more of. Yeah, we're definitely going to need more coal. Because even though 30, I had like 30 left for my reserves. That's not like a bad number, but it definitely is a number that I'm concerned about. Oh man, dungeon exploring though is one of the most interesting parts of Minecraft, but I think if you're playing, or rather watching the wrong person, it can be one of the most boring, because there's a reason why I don't really watch Minecraft playthroughs that much, even though I do enjoy playing the game. I don't watch the Minecraft playthroughs a lot, because a lot of the time, they're boring. I mean, the guy doesn't really know how to be exciting when mining, or rather when narrating mining in like a dungeon or something. It's usually the exploration aspect that gets more interesting than just the um oh i'm mining in a dungeon guys you know so much exciting stuff is happening guys yeah it's that that's more exciting it's it's but like the actual mining like you know i'm, I'm breaking through blocks all day guys you know I'm, I'm breaking blocks with my spare time and you know i have nothing to say so i'm going to be boring now <laughs> i can't deal with that that's why i don't really watch minecraft playthroughs but on occasion i'll watch them when i feel like meh whatever like maybe on occasion it all depends but on a normal basis your boy Etika doesn't watch minecraft playthroughs i did watch tobuscus play minecraft a little bit back in um back in his earlier days but not recently oh shit okay then um this is kind of cool at least we know we have a way to get outside really quick let's go a little deeper Oh yeah, I did get this deep. Okay, okay, I'm bothered. 
I'm bothered. What was that? I'm not seeing any iron in here, so we're going to have to... What's that? A squid? Um, okay, so... Let's see, maybe there's something down here. Whoa, there is a path down here. Is this something worth looking into? Wow, this goes so deep. Oh, there we go. Iron. Huh? What's happening? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? We kill that nigga. That's what we do. Yeah, come here. Come here. Fuck, boy. No, he's gonna kill me. He keeps shooting me in the water. No. No. Damn it. Damn. Oh. Okay, we gotta rush. We gotta get down there as soon as possible and get our stuff back. Damn, man. It was just one skeleton. I couldn't even kill him, man. This is so stupid. Oh, God, we gotta hurry. Oh, my God, and there's another one. How am I supposed to protect myself, man? Get out of my way, man. Get out of my way. Just leave me alone. When I'm in the water, fighting these things is... <laughs> this is the biggest <laughs> headache I've ever had, yo. How am I supposed to fight him when I'm in the water? Oh, my gosh, please. Because he keeps pushing me back, so the water keeps me from advancing and rushing him. Wow, man. And he has perfect aim, of course. Even in the water, he has perfect aim. This is so stupid. How am I supposed to freaking kill him when he's guarding the gate like this? Oh, my gosh. Come on. Are you kidding me right now? You mean to tell me that that one skeleton who's guarding the entrance of the dungeon is going to prevent me from getting my stuff back? Really? Really? Why is he there for? What's he doing there? Come on. No, fuck this. No, fuck you. I gotta somehow maneuver my way around this bitch. Oh, come on. No, no, no. No, no. You're not ending this for me. You're not ending this for me, skeleton. Damn, he's fucking me up, man. He's dealing chunks of damage. Oh, man, I'm stuck. C come on. Damn it. Oh, God, you fucking fagbag. I'm gonna fuck your shit. You, you with me now, nigga. You with me now, nigga. Damn, he's not dying. Whoa. Am I taking... <laughs> I was taking blows. But I'm stuck down here. I don't know how to get up. I can't get up. I only have a hand. This is so retarded. I could die right now. D damn. Look at him. He shot my dude up. Do you see this? Damn, man. No, I got to hurry up. I got to get my stuff, man. Oh, come on. Come on. Why does this stuff happen to me? I go unprepared maybe just once. Just looking for iron. And I gotta be in a situation like this. Come on, man. Just run. We gotta get to our stuff. We gotta get to our stuff ASAP. But that one skeleton who killed me back there might just be there. This is a really horrible situation to be in. Oh, there goes all my stuff. There goes that fucking skeleton again. Let's fuck his shit. There's two of them? There's two of them! Yeah. You didn't expect that, did you? Damn it. Damn it. We gotta go back. Oh, come on. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. Why is he even there for? I put torches around. That's supposed to stop the monsters from spawning. That's what I thought they do. Come on, man. We gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. Come on. Come on. We're, we're racing against the clock here. I don't know how long items last for. They do last somewhat long from my memory, but... <coughs> it ain't forever, that's for sure. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go down. Go down. Where is it? Where is the stuff? Okay, here we go. Let's take care of this bitch. Why isn't it hurting him? Oh, shit! What the hell? What the hell's happening? Why is he doing so much damage? Why can't I kill him? Why? What is happening here? No, no, no. Fuck this. I ain't going unprepared this time. No, fuck that shit. 
We're, we're making... Oh, but I don't have any wood because I took all the fucking wood with me. Oh my god, come on. I swear, if this is the end of all my items, I will be so angry. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know how I'm keeping my cool right now, but I'm so used to crazy stuff happening to me on a regular basis in this damn Minecraft playthrough, and the only thing I'm trying to do is beat the damn game, for God's sakes. Come on, man. Jesus Christ. Why couldn't I even hurt that skeleton? I couldn't even kill him. I couldn't even kill the damn skeleton, man. Look, okay, see, look. I gotta hit him in his legs? Why is he doing so much damage? Why is he doing so much damage to me? Why is the skeleton doing so much damage? He's doing like two and a half hearts every hit. This is the worst. This is the worst. <laughs> this is horrible. Out of all the stuff that's happened to me during this Minecraft playthrough, this has to be the worst. I cannot believe it. How many hits is the skeleton able to take, man? I've hit this dude like a trillion times. And for some reason, he's doing obscene amounts of damage to me, man. Oh, God. I just hope everything is okay with my items. I made a whole bunch of iron stuff. I didn't even get to use any of it, barely. I made a whole bunch of iron pickaxes. I made a whole bunch of iron shovels. I had everything ready. No, no, no. This is it. This is the end of you, nigger. This is the end for you. Yes. Yes. Whoa, what? A bow with power. That explains how he was doing the... Oh, no, you skeleton. No, 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 no. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're dying right here. I ain't scared of you. Oh, I please... please. What happened to all my items? Wait, is this all of them? Wait, I know I had these here. I have my shovels here. Wait, let me look around, make sure everything is taken up. Whoa, this looks crazy. I don't want to go in there. Um, let me see, where are the rest of my items at, man? I lost some items, I know that for sure. I definitely lost some items. This really sucks. I lost a shovel, but thankfully I didn't lose anything too crazy. Um, I don't really need this rotten flesh. Whatever, it's food, I guess I'll eat it. Um, I got my ladders, yes, yes, that's good. And I have this bow now, which is kind of cool. Why is it so damaged, though? Well, it's good, at least I have a bow. I don't need gravel. Okay, okay, it looks like there's not as much damage here as I thought there would be. So we are lucky, extremely lucky. And we have a bow with power, you know, even though the guy was fucking us up with it, he was doing a lot of damage with that bow, man. But, you know what, it's all good. We are finally back in business after, you know, only 10 deaths. So we're good, we're good. Either way... Let's do what we came here to do. Get some iron. My torches. My torches are gone, man. I lost all my torches in that whole fiasco. But I do have a lot of um I do have a lot of coal so I can just make some more. No big deal. Thankfully, only the torches the torches were the only thing that was lost, thankfully. Okay, then. So, now let's do what we came here to do. Let's put this down though because God knows, I could probably see myself getting jumped by some kind of monster. What the hell is that? Oh, this is like an open world outside dungeon. How interesting, yo. But alright, so, we are going to dig into this, get some of this iron. Um, what an episode, man. I feel like I spent that whole episode just like dying. Really fucking sucks. But hey, at least I have like a lot of iron blocks here now. I feel like this dungeon is going to be one that I get easily lost in. Because I'm already finding it a little bit baffling that I managed to make my way down here without getting lost once. So you know, I won't think negatively, but I'm still a bit concerned when it comes to that. Oh well. Alright then. So, um... 
Okay, I have no idea how to get back. Anyways, I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. Once again, I want to thank you for tuning into the Ethical World Network Minecraft segment. Got anything you want to bring up? Any advice? If you have any advice to help me um, find my way back home easier in dungeons like this, definitely let me know. But until then, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care of yourselves, and as usual, have yourself a damn good one. What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network Gaming Commentary here to bring you another installation of our Minecraft segment. And if you tuned into the last episode, there was so much bullshit with those skeletons in that water, I cannot encompass the rage I felt. But I managed to keep it down because it's really early in the morning and I don't want to fuck up people's day this early. So, let's get into the playthrough right now. Now, if you guys remember, we had finally managed to make it down back into the dungeon after the skeletons were guarding the entrance with that whole ocean there, just fucking my shit. So we finally got down here. We realized that um, some of our items were lost in the fact of our torches, but torches are easily replaceable. This looks, this does not look like somewhere I wanna go. <laughs> oh my God. I swear, one of the biggest problems I have with dungeons like this is the fact that once you get in deep enough, it's kind of difficult to find your way back up. Although I think this is kind of where we came from. No, it's not. It's not. I just want to kind of um, set up a base. So this way I know where I came from and I know how to get back there. If anything crazy goes down. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is it. No, it's... How did I get down here 11 times to try to get my items back with monsters killing me? Yet right now, I can't seem to focus on where the hell I came from in the first place. Is this it? I don't remember going through a body of water like that. But hey, let's look through. I mean, the thing is, is that there's a lot of open places in this dungeon, so... Nope. Oh, you fucking kidding me? You fucking kidding me? Yo, you fucking kidding me? Yo, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. This bow that we got from the skeleton, I don't know why it's so damaged for, but we're going to use this bow to kill that creeper, because that skeleton was doing so much... Where am I here? Oh, shit, nigga! Yo, get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! Are you kidding me? <laughs> get the fuck out of here! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Do you see this shit? Do you see this shit? <laughs> this fucking... Oh, I don't have any cobblestone either. This is great. This is fucking great. I gotta... Oh my god. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? There's torches there. Why are the monsters spawning? There's torches. God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck? This shit is fucking... You would think that I'm making this shit happen on purpose. I'm not doing... I don't have any mods installed or nothing, man. Fuck. Alright. Um, Alright, I guess... The thing is, we only have one arrow. Wait, no. Oh, we have no arrows. It's a good thing I didn't try to shoot the damn thing. The thing is, the skeleton, he didn't even drop any arrows when I killed him. All he dropped was that bow, which does have power too, but it's pretty much almost dead. You know, great drops. Thanks a lot, you know? I don't know why his bow was so damaged. Maybe because I was beating the skeleton up. That skeleton seemed to have a lot of freaking endurance, too. I hit the dude, like, at least... You, you guys remember? At least, like, a hundred times. And the skeleton was just... Fuck you. <laughs> like, his bows were doing, like, almost four hearts of damage. He did, like, three and a half. Each hit. I remember when I was going down there, it was... Whatever. The point is, this fucking dungeon is bullshit, so... All I was trying to do was get a little iron so I could kill some animals and make some weapons so I can have more porch. <sighs> God, all right. You know what? Let's, let's see. Uh, all right, let's just um, try to find our way back to the, yo, come on. How can he see me from this far away, yo? <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> this is bullshit, <laughs> yo, come on. All right. Um, this is bull. Are you kidding me? Fucking zombie! Fucking zombie! <laughs> you kidding me, zombie? Are you kidding me, yo? How am I supposed to get my way back, yo? This is bull. This is bull. And there's a creeper somewhere in here just waiting to blow my shit to smithereens. He's somewhere in here. Alright, uh... You know what? I'm not gonna be a victim anymore. We're just gonna dig our way out of here. So let's just go straight up, alright? We'll go straight up and we'll rendezvous when we get to the surface. This way. 
<laughs> Yo, you hear that shit? No, oh, shit! <laughs> fuck this! No, fuck you! I'm, I'm not fucking with you anymore. Yo, come here, come here, come here. You know what it feels like to be raped, nigga? Well, you're not gonna find out today because I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Okay. All right, I think we are finally safe. It's just that creeper. I know he's here. I know that fucking creeper is here. I can see myself. You know what? Nah, let me let me stop being, you know, negative and paranoid. I'm just gonna do my best to get the hell out of here right now because there's no way that I'm messing around in these catacombs anymore. <laughs> this shit is fucking. <laughs> this shit is a fucking death sentence, yo. <laughs> Whatever. I mean. I'm sorry, it's just being in darkness in general is very stressful for my brain right now, especially considering all the bullshit that happened. With first that skeleton army, and then their main general who had like fucking... <sighs> Wait a minute, why didn't I get any cobblestone? I just got... Why didn't I get any cobblestone? I can't even build myself back up here. Wait, or did I? Oh. I'm getting way too <laughs> crazy with this shit. <laughs> let, me just, let me just calm my ass down. Everything's okay now. You know, it's not like I can get jumped in here. It's cobblestone. Yeah, we must have been really fucking deep. The thing is with these dungeons is that, like, when you start going down their paths and, like, going down the winding paths and such, you kind of don't realize that they're going a little bit deeper with each, with each cavern. So even though it doesn't seem like you're going as deep as you were when you first walked into the dungeon, after a little while, with it continuously winding down, you find yourself really, really deep. It's crazy. Okay, uh, let's use this last dirt block. And let us... Okay, we made it to another dungeon. <laughs> Wait a minute, this, this might be where we first built our shit, though. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, there we go. I see our house right there. Oh, wow, we weren't that far at all, yo. We were, like, really, really close. Oh, wow, are you kidding me? <laughs> Why did that shit look like it was so far away? <laughs> this is bullshit. <laughs> okay. Okay, then. All right, well, we did accomplish our goal. We managed to get some iron, so now let's turn it into some swords. Then we can kill some animals, get some livestock, and then, well, we're not gonna get livestock, obviously. We're just going to um, make some food. And this way we'll have food for our whole dungeon exploration thing later on, so that'll be good. Let's put this here, and we are going to climb up. All right, so even though it took one and a half episodes, we're finally on track to attempting to take on this dungeon in the right way the thing is with me totally forgetting to make armor and weapons that kind of sidetracked things a lot so now we are pretty much set nothing can get in our way at this point so we're going to cook this little iron where the fuck i need to just calm down this shit isn't that serious minecraft for god's sakes but jesus christ fucking and we got this bow, which at first I was like happy after we killed that boss, but I keep I call him a boss because the dude was unkillable. <laughs> but we don't have any arrows, so let's see if we can. Oh, you know we need flint for an arrow. Great. You know? And I was expecting the snow to cover the whole ground. It didn't even manage to do that. Like thanks. You know, Mother Nature isn't even on my side here. Well. Besides all that craziness that happened last night in this game, things are kind of cool. Oh wait, we have those piggies right there. We're gonna, we're gonna take all those pigs there. I'm gonna massacre the whole lot of them. But then again, wait. If we kill all these pigs here, there's no guarantee that they're all gonna just respawn in the same area. I'm thinking, just like somebody suggested, that even though it may not be the best conditions, we might as well start making a farm with these bitches. Because if I kill all these guys, they're if I kill all these guys, they're definitely going to not respond. I've seen that happen before. When my friend and I were playing Minecraft as well, we would kill animals in an area and then that would be it for them, you know? Especially in Minecraft Pocket Edition. That shit is not kosher. You better hold on to your animals because they, once they're gone, they're gone. And it is almost nighttime, but I ain't worried because we're going to be in the dungeon, so monsters are going to spawn there anyways. I just want to make sure I have the proper protection before I go deep inside. 
Then again, you guys don't have girlfriends. What am I talking about? <laughs> uh, all right. Um, let's see what the status is of that. Wait a minute. How are we going to start a farm when it's nighttime? Well, all right. We'll just advance it to daytime, so it should work out. Okay, there we go. Boom. You know what? I'm kind of mad about it. We lost all those experience points, so any enchanting that we could have done with that is out the window. But then again, I'm so far from even trying to think about enchanting right now. It is... It's ridiculous. So, um, I'm happy with my little fucked up bow here that has power too with no arrows whatsoever. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. So... Um, why am I waiting here for? <laughs> let's, let's get to work. Okay, so we're gonna make some swords, finally. One, two, one, two. Let's make three. One, two, three, one, two, three. You know what? We're protected this way. Okay. What I usually do is I wanna try to get like a bow as well for my weapon slot. You know, all my tools will be on the like right hand side so I can just quickly shift through them. But you know what? Maybe I should focus on getting arrows as well. That might just be a priority. Might just be. I mean, I'm not 100%. Either way, the bone will be useful for that. So let me put this in the chest. But you know, I have an iron sword now. This is actually official. We can do some shit with this. You know, I don't have to be as scared of monsters anymore now. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so... Uh, now, the plan... Like I said, we are supposed to be getting animals. Actually, wait, no, we're supposed to be getting water to put at the bottom of our little ladder drop there, so this way we don't have to worry about dying when we fall down it. What was that? Oh. Okay. Okay, so, let's get us some water. El agua. We're going to um, dig here. Make it a little deep, because... I've had problems before where, like, it's not deep enough, so you fall in the water so hard that your knees catch <laughs> the impact. <laughs> Fucking hear that shit snap up. It's a snap, snap, snap. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and the last place I want to go right now is Snap City. <laughs> I've already been there. So oh, come on. What the fuck? All right. I've already been there so many times. <laughs> in this game, at least. I'm a natural resident <laughs> at this point. They're going to name a street after me in that bitch. Snap County. <laughs> okay. Um, let's just make this a little taller. What the fuck? All right. You know, okay. You know what? Let's put some more ladder here as well. Oh, I mean, might as well eat this. I still don't know what that does. I still have no idea to this day. Okay, and um, we're just going to shovel this shit out. Ah, we got some flint. We can make one arrow. Great. And we're going to put this up here. And finally, I think we are not set at all because we still have to clear this out so we can walk out of this bitch. And now, yes, there we go. There we go. All we gotta do is fill this thing up and we'll be good. What? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Easy. Alright. What the fuck? What kind of physics are this? <laughs> oh, so I'll just fall straight down <laughs> into. <laughs> what kind of fucked up physics, man? Alright, um. We're going to have to uh, break the ladder. That's kind of. Funny though, you know, you would think Minecraft would, you know, address that because that's kind of stupid. Let me use the water bucket to break that shit down. All right, so let's put a little bit more water down here. I want to make it like an infinite water thing. I don't want it to um, flow though. Actually, maybe it should flow. It'll help us, like, easier. It'll be easier for us to go downwards. Okay. So, we've got the water set up, and um, we should be good. But all right, guys, we're probably going to wrap it up here. This actually was somewhat of a long episode in comparison to the ones I've done. So, 
If you guys got any comments or questions, you can definitely bring them up with me. But hey, man, I ain't going to waste no more of your time. Although I guess you guys don't consider it wasting your time since I'm playing Minecraft. But whatever the case may be, I'll talk to you guys later on. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.